bit. Speaking of costumes, Christy Dosh, Ms. Sports Biz, is in the studio with a T-shirt. I so hope. I'm so I'm telling you. <laughs> Next. Welcome back to Sports Night. This is Sports Business 101, and I'm Christy Dosh. But you can call me Miss Sports Biz. First off, a reminder. This Friday is College Colors Day. And in honor of our next topic, I elected to make today NFL Colors Day. My shirt says, I love Tebow, and I do, which is why he's our first topic. Before he even takes a snap in a regular season game, Tim Tebow is a record-breaking NFL player. I'm sure you've heard that he broke the record for rookie jersey sales, and his jersey remains the top seller in the NFL. Last month, the Tim Tebow trainer tennis shoe by EA Sports and Nike sold out in just five minutes. The bottom line is that whatever Tim Tebow touches turns to gold, and everyone is cashing in. After realizing that the Broncos game would be a sellout, the Jaguars announced that no single-game tickets would be available for the Broncos game, only offered as part of a half-season package. That means instead of $40 for a cheap seat, Tebow fans will have to spend $250 or more to attend the game. Speaking of cashing in on football, Atlanta will be doing a little bit of that this weekend when it hosts the Chick-fil-A college kickoff game between LSU and UNC. Each team will pocket a little over $2 million for their appearance, but the city of Atlanta will be the real winner. The combined efforts of the Chick-fil-A kickoff game and the Chick-fil-A bowl game in December bring in an estimated $60 million to the city. Chick-fil-A bowl president Gary Stokin says the game's not only here to stay, it's the centerpiece around which he plans to build an entire kickoff weekend in the future. There are even talks of adding a Thursday night game to the schedule. He says teams are already calling about spots in the 2013, 2014, and 2015 games. Another event that seems to be in Atlanta's future is the MLB postseason. And if you ask this fan, the only thing missing for the Braves is production at first base. And I've got some great news. If our first baseman of the future, Freddie Freeman, continues the year he's been having in AAA at the TED in September, he could still make the postseason roster. You probably thought all hope was lost when the August 31st deadline passed yesterday. And normally you'd be right. A player has to be on the roster on August 31st in order to be on the postseason roster. However, there's an exception. If a player who is eligible for the postseason roster is injured, he may be replaced by any player in the organization, regardless of their roster status. A position player must be substituted for a position player and a pitcher for a pitcher. Currently, both Chipper Jones and Chris Medlin's roster spots are available. If Freeman appears ready for postseason pressure, you could still see him on the field in October taking Chipper's roster spot. Hey, turn off. I hope you've been paying attention. There will be a quiz later. Well, that's it for today. A special thanks goes out to my friend Lori Evans at Titletown Tees for my great game day gear. I'm Miss Sports Biz, and you've just been schooled on the business of sports. Okay, sure enough. Will you pay attention? There's the there's the bell, by the way, the school bell. I could or you get, actually actually you get you get whipped with the ruler if you're not paying attention. By Christy? Uh -huh. I know. Yeah, that's okay. No, I was like I was watching her. I really wasn't listening. Uh -huh. when, it's like it's a typical woman. I was watching the mouth move. I didn't really hear. Oh, her. this you're just you're just going the wrong nah, way. No, Christy, with she's Miss Sports Biz. Of course, I enjoyed that. All right, well, I, and I, what I, I did earlier with a bonsai was offensive, huh? <laughs> that Insulting. was offensive. Yeah, I was kidding. I love late women. You 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 do a great job. <laughs> you just keep going there, man. Just keep yeah. going. One more thing you want to say about it to the ladies? Keep going, Dice. No, go ahead. Exactly. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, say one more thing. Here's what I do know. Yeah. I know I will not allow my wife to watch the replay of this show later. <laughs> <laughs> First I'm intelligent kidding. thing you've decided today. All right. Uh, the, the mention that uh, Christy made about Freddie Freeman yeah. possibly getting a, uh, it's possible that he gets a postseason roster spot. I think that's very likely. I do. I think as a backup first baseman, a lefty <clears throat> stick off the bench, and a good defensive player, I think there is a very realistic chance <laughs> that Freddie Freeman is a guy off the bench that can help you. What, what are you, are you saying? laughing at? What are you? <laughs> See, you were paying. He I work with a bunch of amateurs. I'm trying, think to, trying to be serious, and these guys are up here hamming and egging. Uh, Voice of reason in a sea of insanity, Nick Chalini. Uh, all I said was, if Freddie Freeman plays well through the month of September, uh -huh. he's going to get some starts in the postseason. No, he's not. No, he's, not. That's That's all I said. he's not. We'll be right back for our next scintillating segment. Don't miss it. It's about recruiting, by the way. <laughs>